Time now for the morning rush. An eastern New Mexico community is still in shock. This morning, it's after a deadly a dog, dog attack in town. 64-year-old Stanley Hart was walking on 11th Street near Gamble in Tucumcari around 8 on Wednesday evening when five mixed-breed dogs attacked and killed him. One dog was euthanized on Wednesday night that was following the attack, and the rest are at a local kennel. The FBI recovered guns, drugs, and arrested three people after a series of early morning raids in the South Valley. The FBI served warrants at five different locations, including one at a home near Coors in Arenal. Special agent in charge Raul Bujanda says the raids were part of an associate group tied to the group targeted in September raids. That recovered more than a million fentanyl pills. A man is facing murder charges this morning after Albuquerque police say he shot a panhandler. 20-year-old Brandon Chapman is accused of shooting and killing Vincent Lopez. This was outside of a wing stop near San Mateo and Zuni in October. Chapman was found in Long Beach, California on Wednesday. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It is a cold start out there, so wear your warm winter layers. 27 degrees will be warming into the low 50s. A slight warm up from yesterday with some high clouds in the area. State officials are divided on a law that would allow police officers to test a person's blood if they believe they are under the influence of drugs or alcohol. House Bill 158 clarifies that in order to get the blood test, police have to get a search warrant from a judge. A proposed bill that would have allowed local governments to set their own rent control limits was tabled in the legislature. Right now, state law prohibits cities and counties from setting caps on rent. This proposal would lift that restriction. Committee members agree that there is an affordable housing shortage, but expressed concerns about driving away developers. Happening soon, people driving without license plates will be facing $25 fines if caught by Albuquerque police. The APD police chief says he believes it will help solve more than just traffic violations. Chief Medina said that state law does not allow them to tow someone for not having a license plate. They can be towed depending on their driver's license status and whether or not they have insurance. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low today as we have no weather threats across the state other than some really chilly morning temperatures. Pentagon officials are monitoring a suspected Chinese spy balloon that's been flying at high altitude over the United States. On Wednesday, the balloon was spotted over Montana. Pentagon officials recommended against shooting down the balloon because the danger falling debris would pose to people on the ground. Tens of millions of Americans will see some of the coldest conditions in decades. In the south, states are still struggling to recover from an epic ice storm. In the east, warming centers will be open in states such as New Hampshire and Rhode Island. And the city of Boston has already declared a cold emergency for the weekend. A ban on TikTok in the U.S. is gaining bipartisan support. Democratic Senator Michael Bennett from Colorado is urging Apple and Google to ban the app from its stores. TikTok executives say they will not turn over any data to the Chinese government and claim Bennett's letter rel relies on, quote, misleading reporting. Erica. All right, let's get a check on traffic. The maps are looking clear, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a look at Tracker going south on I-25 near the Big I. Looks like everything's still moving at speed and no weather issues for the morning commute. Well, meet Bobby, the world's oldest living dog ever. He is 30 years and 268 days old as of today. This good boy, good boy right here lived his entire life with the Costa family in a rural village in Portugal. The canine is a purebred Rafaelo de Alento, Alentejo rather, and was born on May the 11th, 1992. According to a pet database authorized by the Portuguese government, well, the previous record holder was an Australian cattle dog who, you, who lived to be 29 years and five months. That was back in 1939. Now for the five facts. At number five, two elementary schools in Valencia County are enjoying brand new STEM programs this morning. The Cal Ripken Foundation partnered with ExxonMobil to open two new STEM centers at Gil Sanchez and Thome Elementary Schools. During a ribbon-cutting ceremony, trained teachers got the opportunity to teach students about the new STEM equipment, including 3D printers and robots. The Cal Ripken Foundation was founded in 2001 by Baseball Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Sr. The foundation has 275 STEM programs nationwide. At number four this morning, the city is reviewing ways to slow down traffic after concerned parents say that drivers are going way too fast. It's near La Luz Elementary. Now, school zones require drivers to slow down to 15 miles per hour, but we caught some drivers going more than twice the limit. La Luz Elementary has three crossing guards, but some parents are saying that's still not enough. Now, according to APD, officers from their traffic unit, they also patrol school zones on a regular basis, especially when they are alerted to an area of concern. 
and at number three, it's going to be a beautiful weekend in the metro. 53 today with mostly to partly sunny skies. Tomorrow, clearing skies with a high of 57 and even 60 by Sunday with some breezes. And number two, the FBI recovered guns, drugs, and arrested three people after a series of early morning raids in the South Valley. The FBI served warrants at five different locations, including one at a home near Coors in Arenal. Special agent in charge Raul Bujanda says that the raids were part of an associate group tied to the group that was targeted in September. The raids that, cover, that recovered rather more than a million fentanyl pills. Bujanda said that many of their leads come from the public and they are asking if people suspect wrongdoing to leave them a tip and they will investigate. And number one, an eastern New Mexico community is in shock this morning after a deadly dog attack. 64 year old Stanley Hart was walking on 11th Street near Gamble in Tucumcari around 8 o'clock Wednesday evening when five mixed breed dogs attacked and killed him. People were told to stay in their homes Wednesday night as law enforcement worked to round up the pack of dogs behind that deadly attack. One dog was euthanized Wednesday night following the attack. The rest are at a local kennel.